I family earlier, our tour guide gave us a beautiful 15 plus minute uh, introduction. And what we're going to do is uh, take you around the museum and show you the full footage of the entire museum. It is going to be fast, um, but you can always pause and read the information and so on. So this is like it's broken down into four different languages. Uh, the first two, um, Kiswahili and English. And then here we go, the legend himself. Yeah? The first president. You know, just like I always give big respect to the first president of Ghana, same thing for Tanzania. Yeah? You know, that, that we, need, you know, we always need great leadership. You know? It may, never, may not be perfect, but great leadership. But Julius Neri is one of those uh, legends who built that foundation. And it always reminds me of the original organization of African Union. And then next thing you know, the O is out. Uh, you know, once you take the O out, you, know, you lose the organization. And now it's called African Union. But you know, when I talk about Kwame Nkrumah and Julius Neri, these were the foundation of the original organization of African Union, along with other heads of state at that time. And as we begin to go to more countries, we'll definitely connect you with that uh, foundation. Just come out, a lot of history, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, man. These museums have a lot of history, but you don't see people coming like they should, and then you don't see them putting information up. So we're gonna represent and document a lot of these things and put them out there. And that is the previous president uh, that did his two terms. And the new president was in from 2015 to 2020, and then he was re-elected, so he'd be serving from 2020 to 2025. This is the current head, heads of state, as I was mentioning. We just went to the Maasai uh, craft shop earlier, and this is a connection of the Maasai people. <laughs> when you hear of the Maasai people, you usually hear about um, Kenya, but uh, Kenya, Tanzania. Uh, it's one of those things, once these uh, devils divided the different nations, they divided also the ethnic group when they carved their lines uh, during the Berlin Conference. So, yeah, it's just uh, wherever you go, you just see a history of us being divided. So you do have the Maasai in Tanzania and also in Kenya. I've been to Kenya also, and looking forward to going back, you know, soon so I can do more in-depth documentation. All right, so let me take you to this uh, next set of sections.
I tell me, and this me, but money time, but in the flesh. I'm not big on this having a camera all in my face. Um, you know, I'm more of a director and a narrator. Yeah? I like to share and, and tell our stories, and I don't always have to be, you know, with the camera in my face. But this is uh, me right here, family, rocking there, our cultural Tanzania shirt, and I, you know, I get some. You know, I do a few presentations later on uh, with a few of the group members. But for now, I just definitely want to give you this wonderful documentation in this Arusha Decoration Museum. And want to encourage my brothers and sisters to honestly, when you go to different countries, you know, spend time in the different museums. Uh, we have to make education a priority as far as for you know, black empowerment and African nation building. And I do believe you can you know, get, the, you know, get the education aspects, you know, which is the roots and the culture. And also you can enjoy other parts of the country, you know, socializing, networking, nightlife, things like that. Appreciate you, brother. As you can see, we're the only per people in the museum. So, you know, we're supporting the, the local economy and keeping things like this open. I sent um, pictures and video back to people back home, and they were like, I wish I would've went. And I was like, I wish you would've went too. Yeah, no mask. <laughs> that too. No mask. <laughs> no mask, for real. Serious. But, but yeah, we have a lot of footage, and we're gonna show, you know, we're gonna share this, because it's madness how we're on these lockdowns, and people in Tanzania don't seem like they're dying. Right. So something is going on, family, more than what people say it is. Will you be, um, yeah. will you be like, making this into a video where we can buy it? Oh, no, no, nothing is for sale. Everything is free information. So uh, you have access to the links and I have access to the downloads. And when we do put a documentary together, you'll be able to have access to it okay. and things like that. And if we need to do something on like a drive or something, we'll just charge you for the drive and get it to you. But this is for my brothers and sisters. I'm doing all of this to share, especially my family in Jamaica and other parts of the world that they can't make it to the different countries. So, but appreciate you, man. The shirt look good on you, man. <laughs> I we here. I'm home. Yeah, keep on sharing with the folks, man. And that's the only way we can let people see the real, because we're letting people know we, we took those flights, we came to the country, we moved around, we did everything that we're supposed to do. And man. we're still alive and nothing has happened to us. There you us. go, family. <laughs> so that's it, family. Yeah. So you know me, family, Bomani Tamba, live on Revolutionary Cam, here to give it to you. So yes, family, we are here at the Arusha Declaration Museum, and I'm here to continue from a tour guide that gave us a beautiful introduction, and I'm here to show you all of the footage in the museum itself.
Let me continue with the documentation, and some of these letterings are very small. Yeah, one of those big fancy TV, you can uh, zoom in and see all of this documentation and freeze it. And but what we definitely recommend is come and experience the experience, and that's what the journey of a lifetime is. It's about experiencing a wonderful reconnection. And so these are three big pictures and what you can see right here. And family, this may be one of the situations where you know, once you see the close-up, you just pause it, and if you want to read it, just start read through it. And we can only hold it so long, but it's a lot of documentation in this museum, as small as it is. And I really appreciate the people who put this work in because now it gives us a nice foundation of you know, us being educated about Tanzania. 
the history, the struggle, the roots, all the wonderful connections. And family, uh, as you can see, in the 21st century, yeah. the Africa rising century, we as a people are looking to build a new future for our content, for our children, and for civilization. Independence, 1961. A revolutionary nation has been born. And that's literally four years after the 1957 independence of my favorite country, Ghana, and family. We, as usual, we're taking you back in time. My right, family, we're closing out on the last uh, few presentation and uh, we're gonna proceed back to continue the rest of our tour. But this has been a beautiful experience at the Arusha Declaration Museum. A lot of powerful information, a lot of documentation. Oh, yes, uh, literally one minute and we're going to 
close out family. There's one or two things I'm not going to be able to get you, family, but we have given you a whole lot of documentation. Uh, so if nothing else, you can come and spend more time and enjoy it as we uh, close out and uh, get back on the bus. And uh, Brother Molly, we got to get some uh, group pictures. And we're just going to give you this last clip part real quick. And we are off. This is the last section I got right here, and we're good. So what we got to do also, Molly, we got to get to a few, several, several different group photos while we have on this nice energy of t-shirts. All right, so family, that is really it. That's really it. So family, we're going to get back on the bus and appreciate you tuning in, for, tuning in for this nice session at the Arusha Declaration Museum. Yes, Brother Mali, I'll see you back on the bus. <laughs> yes, family. Uh, what I'm going to show you, family, before we cut the feed, is this wonderful... Let me get to a different angle. The Arusha Declaration Monument. And what I got to do, I got to get the uh, tour guide the, uh, the tips. So let me uh, uh, pull it out and get it to you. So family, this is the declaration itself right here, the monument.